All right, so we need to talk about random variables. So a random variable, we use this capital letter X or a capital Y, right? Data points are lowercase x sub i, x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, okay? Capital letter X is for a random variable. Those are data points, okay? It's a variable whose value is a numerical outcome of something that is random. So it is basically a probability distribution where the outcomes are all numbers. So we've seen a few of these and we'll, I'll show you a couple examples. But there's two options, discrete random variables, and those are things that you want to display in some sort of um, probability distribution where you can show like these are the different possible outcomes, okay? So these are my x's, these are my probabilities, and these would all be numbers, and these would all be probabilities, okay? All right. In a continuous distribution, you can't list all possible ones because there's an infinite number of them. So you would need to have some sort of density curve, okay? Um, normal or uniform are the two most common ones, all right? Um, but those probability distributions, these probabilities of all possible outcomes add up to one. These areas all add up to one when you do one of those, all right? Um, so discrete random variable, X has a countable number of possible values. You make a table, create a histogram. We see Benford's law. Here's a table of values where I show all the probabilities. Here's a histogram of all the values. These bars, if we took their areas, would add up to one, uh, where the width is one and the height is 0.3, and the width is two and the height is like 0.176, okay? So this one has a little bit more information than the histogram. But what's the probability that X equals two? Notice it's using a capital letter X to denote the random variable, okay? X equals two is 0.176. That X is between two and four, I would add these three probabilities together. That X is greater than one, I would do I could add up all eight of those probabilities or just do one minus the probability that it's less than or equal to one. You just flip that sign, okay? Um, and if it's continuous, continuous random variable takes on all values in an interval of numbers. So here we need to talk about intervals is the only way that it talks, okay? Um, the probability distribution is a density curve, always a density curve. The probability of any event is the area under the curve. Okay. Individual outcomes, the probability of just like X equaling this number. Um, the area of this, because it has no width, is zero. Okay. So the probability of X equaling number is always zero. But the probability that I'm between numbers, because it's over intervals, has a measurable quantity. If it's um, a density curve, I have the height here. And I have especially if it's a uniform one, I should say, okay? And then I have my width, okay? So if I'm going between six and seven and my height is 0.2, then I would do my width is one and my height is 0.2 and I get the area comes out to 0.2, okay? If it's a normal curve, then all of this is fair game again where I use my X's to get a Z-score and a percentiles, or I can use norm CDF and hop right over to get my percents and work my way back. So when we see continuous random variables, often the density curve is a normal density curve, and then we use these familiar calculations to make all of our uh, probability calculations. All right, we'll see you soon.